Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and I want to teach you a little trick today on how to overlay a logo onto your videos. Now, I know a lot of you are uploading videos to Blip.tv, YouTube, Daily Motion, Meta Cafe, Vidler, Vimeo, oh my goodness, so many websites. And you know, you see other videos that have these snazzy branded logos in the bottom right, bottom left, or you know, however you want to see it, or however they want to put it or if you just want to overlay text or some sort of you know cool effect um, now there's there's a lot of a lot of big tools out there that you can buy that can do this and probably do a lot more than what I'm gonna show you but if you own QuickTime Pro which I do here's a neat little trick that you can do in order to add your own uh, overlaid graphic to uh, your videos now I've done this in the past with sponsor uh, sponsor logos and most recently I've been doing it with uh, my newly created Buona.tv logo which was made by Blue Fox during my logo contest so the first thing you ought to do is get an image and uh, this image should be in transparent GIF format so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over and I'm gonna do open file in QuickTime okay and I'm gonna go to my folder and um, <clears throat> I have two images here. One that's 320 by some 320 width by some dimension and 640 width by some dimension. Um, when I record a video, when I do a screencast, I record at the actual resolution. So I use the 320 logo for that one. When I record using a high definition camera, I use a higher quality image. So the higher the resolution of your video, the higher resolution you should use for your uh, for your logo. If you if you use too small or too big logos, you may get some pixelization and some fuzziness. So for this one, this video I have open here is a video I produced earlier tonight. It's the uh, Team Fortress 2 heavy update. And I'm going to first open the transparent 320 image in QuickTime. QuickTime, yes, can open images. <laughs> and then the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, select all, which you can do with Command A. And you notice that the bottom here changed. It's selected all, and I'm going to do Command C, which is copy. Then I'm going to go to my video that I want to paste it to. And I'm going to go to the edit menu and I'm going to select add to selection and scale. So what you see here is this image pasted on top of my movie. Now that's not the desired look. It looks kind of ugly, right? So we got to kind of clean things up. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the window menu and do show movie properties. And this will show me the properties of this particular movie and uh, you, you notice that I have several formats. I have an animation, I have a soundtrack, a video, I have sound, and I have a PNG video track. This PNG video track is the image I just pasted. So what I want to do is next is go to the visual settings. This is the most important part. This is the part where you're going to have to tinker and uh, probably play around with it the first time, but once you do it the first time, you got it. You want to scale the image down to a certain size and you also want to produce an offset so say I want to move it over 50 pixels and you notice that the image it moved over 50 so rather than go through that process again what I did is that I, um, I, I made screenshots of these settings for both of both cases um, for my my bigger videos you know my scale size is these numbers and my offset is those numbers and for my screencast videos the smaller ones it's these numbers so I did the work one time and rather than write it down I just took a screenshot of this particular screen so the, 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 the settings I want for this one are 150 by 98 scaled size so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and if you do just the first term the first uh, number it'll automatically scale the second as you can see it scaled it down and my offset I want to be actually I adjusted this 490 by 250 so now I have the logo in the bottom right of this video so it looks cool right it's not completely there yet I want to add some transparency now I mentioned before you should have a PNG and uh, a PNG works best in these cases. And you want to have a transparent PNG. Set 
a color of the image to be transparent because it gives you a better effect. If you have this big block in the bottom right, it may not be the best bet. So to do so, you just go into QuickTime and you notice there's a transparency dialog. You can select from one of two options. These are my two favorites. You can do straight alpha, which actually shows what I do now. It, it turned that black color into the, uh, uh, that black color was the transparent and it made that transparent. Or you can do straight alpha blend, which uh, I need to, I think I need to come in and out to actually see that. Yeah, there you go. It actually makes it semi-transparent. So, and for straight alpha blend, you can address, adjust the transparency level of the image if you want it to fade into the background and so on and so forth. So, but I prefer straight alpha because uh, I just like how that looks right now. So, that's it. And once you do that, you just save the movie and uh, your movie now has an overlaid logo. And this is all done with QuickTime Pro. And uh, I didn't have to buy anything else. So if you don't, if you're looking for a software to do this on the Mac, and I'm pretty sure this works on Windows as well. I've done it over there. Um, and you can use QuickTime Pro. You don't need to go out and buy anything else. But like I said, there's other tools out there which do it and probably do other smooth and cool effects a lot better than this. But this is a cheap way for me because I already own QuickTime Pro. All right, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and I hope this QuickTime Pro tip helped.